Hi there, I'm Greg Lumley. I'm a photographer from Cape Town, South Africa. Uh, I've recently just done uh, two strobist videos on uh, what you need to set up a basic strobist environment. I covered a number of different options, uh, but at the end, the one that I use is uh, Pocket Wizards. Uh, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to connect the Pocket Wizards up to your camera and to your flash. Uh, I'm a very technical person, and a lot of us are, but uh, this is aimed more at people who are not technical. Uh, if you are a technical person, uh, this video is probably just gonna waste your time. Anyway, so let's get started. So first things, of course, we need are the two pocket wizards, uh, the transmitter and the receiver. In the case of pocket wizards, uh, they are transceivers, which means they transmit and they receive. Uh, starting with the pocket wizards, of course, you need to make sure that uh, there are batteries in them. Uh, I'll switch both of them on using the little power button on the side over here. And the same with this one. Next to that, uh, we've got, you'll see, we've got a number of different settings. Uh, we've got a, uh, channel button one two three and four uh, we've got a button that says uh, local both and remote that's up at the top and then there is a test button uh, the first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that both our pocket wizards are on the same channel it can be one two four as long as they are both on the same channel so in this case I'm just going with one and 90% of the time I will uh, the reason you might do a different channel is if your pocket wizard isn't working well uh, sometimes there might be radio interference or if uh, you're working alongside somebody who also has pocket wizards and you're both using the same channel, obviously you don't want to trigger each other's flashes. Okay, so what I've done is I've got both of them on. When I click the test button, you will see the LED up at the top flashes. If it's flashing, let me make sure, then you know that the two of them are communicating with each other. Okay, so let's move on. What I'm going to do is I've got an X, uh, uh, an SB28, a Nikon over here, and I need to connect this Nikon up to one of the pocket wizards, which will essentially in a way be the receiving end uh, from the camera. Uh, up in the top I've got uh, two little connectors, there's camera flash and there's flash. In this case we're going to be using flash. I need a sync cable to be able to connect the two together and I have this sync cable. This sync cable has a what is called a PC connector on one side and a 3.5 inch jack on the other side. The 3.5 inch uh, is what is needed for the pocket wizard and the PC connector is what is needed for the Nikon. Uh, this is a standard pocket wizard cable and every time you buy a pocket wizard it comes with one of these. So first we do is we take the pocket wizard. As I said we've got the camera and the camera flash over there. I'm going to go into flash, plug it in, there we go. And now I'm going to go to my Nikon and in the Nikon you'll see on the side there are two connectors. In this case one is a three pin which I believe is power uh, if you're using an external battery pack and the other one is it has kind of a little circle followed by a little hole in the middle which obviously goes to the PC connector. So I'm going to take the PC connector and I'm going to plug it in over here as follows. Right, so now the two of them are connected. So now in theory, if I switch the flash on, let's switch the flash on. Obviously make sure you've got batteries in them, that would be useful. Another thing that I like to do is bring the power of the uh, flash down just so you don't drill the batteries while you're setting up testing. You don't want to waste battery for no reason at all. And I'll press the test button. Let's see what happens. There we go. So there we go, so that's working. Now we know these two are connected, okay? Another thing that I like to do is I like to strap the pocket wizard onto the top of the flash like this. And the reason I like to do this is because if I need to quickly whip the flash off and put it in a shelf or uh, on the floor pointing at somebody, I can do so. A lot of guys like to use a little uh, lanyard that hangs off here, but it means that you've got two separate items, which I can't, uh, personally, I don't like at all. I feel it makes it very inefficient when you're working quickly and want to quickly do different things, which I'm hyperactive, so I do that a lot. Uh, what I use for that is I use a, a Velcro strap, uh, which is just a homemade Velcro strap, and basically I just wind that around the two as such, okay. and pull it as stiff as I possibly can. In fact, I'll need two hands for this because I'm not getting it right with one hand. Okay, so there we go. There we go. Okay, obviously you've got to pull it quite tight. Uh, there's something which I don't have on this flash which, I, flash which I usually do and that is I very often put a female piece of Velcro up on this 
and a female piece of Velcro on the flash itself. The reason I put two of the same uh, sexes, if you like, is so that if I use a modifier like this one, which needs to almost jam in between there, I'm able to get it in. If I do a male and female, it won't actually be able to get in. The other thing is that if I actually decide to do a male uh, connector, every time I put these in my bag, it grabs onto the things in my bag, which is extremely annoying. Uh, so basically that's, that's this setup. Now that I've got this setup, I need to now connect up the pocket wizard to the, uh, sorry I've got my daughter in the side over there calling me at the moment which is kind of distracting. Anyway, where was I? Uh, let me think. Okay, great. So let's uh, pick up over here. I've got these two connected. We'll make sure that they're working. They are indeed happy. Now I need to get the camera to trigger these two. And it's as simple as this pocket wizard. Make sure that it's working from this to this. And there we go. It's triggering. That's exactly what I'm after. And now it's very straightforward. All that I actually have to do is I have to basically connect the hot shoe into the hot shoe here of the camera itself. Plug it in, the two of them are on, and let's see what happens. There we go, it's working perfectly.